What's up guys? In this week's video we are going to create a fake paper cutout stop motion effect inside of After Effects uh, so that you can save some time actually cutting out those pieces of paper and you know photographing it. Well anyway it will look something like this. In this tutorial I'm only going to show you how to set things up uh, because it's mostly just repeating the same process and adding different shapes or text or that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get going. Create a new composition and drag in a paper texture. This paper texture will be the basis of the effect and in order to show you guys what's actually happening I'll add a mask to it. Add U and saturation in order to colorize the texture. Now you can also use tint or whatever effect you'd like, but in this case I prefer to use U and saturation. If the texture is really white, it doesn't really work, so you could better use tint. The next effect we are going to add is brightness and contrast. Why do we need this effect? We are going to replicate the inconsistent lighting of every photo taken in a stop motion. We generally just want to randomize the settings automatically to create a different exposure from time to time. We do that through the use of an expression. Alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle open parentheses 15 comma 1 and close the parentheses. Um, what this expression does is randomly wiggle the variable 15 times a second with an offset of 1. So the first one is the frequency it happens and the second one is the amount. We do the same for the contrast. Alt click on the stopwatch and type wiggle open parentheses 15 comma 2 and now close it off. Next up is the randomization of the position and rotation in order to simulate the imperfections. Open the variables by selecting the layer, then press P on the keyboard, then press and hold shift and press R. We also add a wiggle to these two. Alt click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle open parentheses 4 comma 1 and close it all off. And for the rotation, alt click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle open parentheses 9 comma 2 and close it off. Now keep in mind that these values are up to your own taste. I was experimenting with it and came to this conclusion. You might like something else, so be sure to experiment for yourself and see if you can find something better. With that said, I also noticed that the bigger the text, the smaller the number. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, great. Next up is the shadow. The pieces of paper are on top of each other, thus it should have a little bit of a drop shadow. Instead of adding the effect, we add a layer style. Right click on the layer, go to layer styles and then drop shadow. Let us first tweak the variables a bit. Let's drop the opacity to about 40, the angle to 120, distance to 3 and the size to about 5 or 6. Now, alt click on the stopwatch for the opacity and type in wiggle, open parentheses, 4, 5 and close it off. With that all set up, it's time to add some text. Make sure it's above the paper texture and set the texture to an alpha mat. If we play it back, nothing really happens, not until we parent the text to the texture. Now we've got something going on, but the movement is too uniform for my taste. In order to randomize the letters, we add a text animation. Drop down the text layer and in the animation tab, select position. Change the values to 1.5 in both directions. This basically moves over all the letters by 1.5 pixels in each dimension. Open up the range slider and the advanced tab. Lower the smoothness down to 0% and in the range slider set the stop position on 10% and wiggle the offset. We do that by alt clicking on the stop watch of the offset variable and then type wiggle open parentheses 4 comma 100 and close it off. What you often see in stop motion is that the letters pop up individually or slide in. We can do that simply by adding yet another text animation and this time we also choose position. Crank up the value so that the text is above the composition and now simply animate the range slider start variable from 0% to 100% in about 5 seconds or so. And there you go, now you've got a stop motion effect. 
You can also switch out the track map with shape layers or logos or whatever you want really. In this example, I use this setup to change all the parts of the cat into paper shapes. And if you really try to work your way with the drop shadow, you can also try to integrate it back into a picture or a video. Well guys, did you like this video? If you did, check out one of my other videos and consider subscribing because there's more to come.